Hey everybody, so I'm here looking at one of my new art pieces, the Vitalik uh, Buterin Decentralized uh, Portrait. And the stage I'm at in the development is figuring out the best delivery method for this. Traditionally, my art is seen using 3D glasses in a process similar to this, where someone wears red and blue glasses and the image has depth. While I think the true stereoscopic nature of this is the best viewing option, I also understand that a lot of people might not have access to the red and blue 3D glasses. So I start to think about different ways that I can display this and simulate the effect without requiring somebody to have the glasses. If somebody does buy my piece of art, I always do offer to send them a pair, but I still think that there's a large segment of the audience that um, would either, you know, just want to preview it or not follow through uh, once the purchase is made. So, as an artist, I'm always just looking for a new avenue, um, a new expression, and a different way that people can connect to what I'm making. So this is the layout using the 3D glasses and what I have started working with is uh, taking the uh, stereoscopic image and then making it into an animated GIF. And this animated GIF um, gives the, uh, an overall simulation of the stereoscopic effect without actually being um, stereoscopic itself. So this is one option that I've used and I have found that um, some other artworks I use that I uh, have up on the Rare Artwork Marketplace um, they also use animated GIF and I've gotten a um, very good response from people especially those who don't have glasses or are not into um, quite the technicals of stereoscopics. They can easily walk up and see this and um, you know there's movement back and forth and it satisfies a lot of different needs. So that's one option that I'm looking at and if we go back to the GIF you'll see that there's just a different feel for how this one reacts rather than how this one acts. This is more of a static still image that you can look at and the other one is more of a um, a looping more brash aesthetic. So those are a couple things that I'm trying to figure out and since this is the first of the series I'd like to work out all the different options so that when I do start producing I'd like to have a consistency that flows between all the different portraits. So this is kind of a big step in me figuring out which direction um, I want to go and the way that I'm segmenting these ideas is the the core root design for each portrait will be up on this raw art labs page which has a whole lot of really cool interesting art between design and photography and animation so the core series will be on rare and i have been using super rare for my my variant designs so what a variant means is this picture right here is a derivative that came from this. So while they're not the same art, there is a um, underlying similarity between the two. And these are sold as one of one uh, super rare uh, tokenized digital art assets, uh, non-fungible NFTs. So what I don't decide to release as the official will 
uh, be curated with what I have and um, subsequently uh, just the best of the ones I come up with will become variant prints on Super Rare. So that is where I'm at with this process and um, I'd love to get your feedback. So if you like either display method over the other, let me know and um, stay tuned for more. Thanks.